So you'll notice that our patient in the video today only has four toes on her right foot and that she has had the second toe, which is the one next to the big toe, amputated long time ago. So you might ask, why would somebody have a second toe amputated? Well, it could be that they have a hammer toe that keeps rubbing against the top of the shoe, or it could be that they have a bunion where the big toe is pushing underneath the second toe, causing it to hit the top of the shoe. Or if that second toe becomes infected and the bone becomes infected, it could mean either six weeks of oral antibiotics or it could mean amputation of the toe. Imagine maybe that second photograph was your 90-year-old grandma, and in order to fix the hammer toe, we would first have to fix the bunion so that the toe has room to come down. And that requires cutting bone, moving bone, resetting bone, and that would be six to eight weeks or more in a walking cast or a post-operative shoe. Whereas removing the toe would be 10 days in the post-operative shoe until the skin edges heal and then grandma's back in her shoes. It would be a different conversation with a 30-year-old or a 40-year-old or a 50-year-old. But for 90-year-old grandma, just removing the toe might be the better option. And that's where you have to make decisions with your patient based on what will work best for them. So in this video, we don't talk about her missing the toe. We are just basically cutting toenails and talking about life um, before the end of the year. and. So she's a lovely lady and I hope that you enjoy the video.